I was incarcerated in a state prison in Pennsylvania, serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole for a homicide that my cousin committed while we were out drinking one night. I was 17 years old, he was 24. I had no business being out. I had spent about 10 years at the State Correctional Institution in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, before I was invited to come and listen to a, a prison revival message about Jesus in the gospel. And I was lost. I was caught up in the drugs. I was caught up in a pornography. I was caught up in a lot of darkness. I heard the message, Jesus died and rose again. And in him, there's eternal life. And real men make commitments. And I went up front and I got on my knees and they led me through a sinner prayer. When I had served 11 years in on my life sentence, I was denied commutation by the governor's board. And it hurt. And I remember going back to my cell. The verse that I had been reading for a few years was Thessalonians 5, 17 and 18. And it says, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks to God in Christ Jesus, for this is the will of God in Him concerning you. And I thought, giving thanks when things are going good is what we do, and it is what most people do, but when things aren't going that well, when circumstances aren't to our benefit, will we give thanks? When I had 12 years in a prison system, I was denied again. When I had 17 years in a prison system, I went up again and I was denied. When I had 24 years in, I went up again and I was denied. 30 years in a system, I went up again and I waited two and a half years. It seemed like the longest time of my life. And I remember uh, receiving the response from the governor's office, it was denial. And I remember feeling it felt like a blow in my stomach and I, I just tried to hold myself together. And I began to listen to the Holy Spirit tell me, I want you to go back to your cell, get on your knees, and give me thanks. And it, believe me, it was probably the last thing I wanted to do. And when I began to say thank you out loud, these three things came to my mind. I, I began thanking him for protecting me. I began saying thank you for providing for me and thank you for promoting me. I heard the Lord say, I'm gonna release you, but it's not gonna be based on your effort. Fast track forward, two years later, I found myself back in the court. The judge released me on April 3rd of 2012. A judge released me saying that I had spent 25 years over any sentence that I should have received as a 17 year old, spending 34 years, nine months and 15 days. I was released and I went home with my sister. About a week later, I asked my sister to call the courthouse and if I can go back and thank everybody. And I remember sitting in the courtroom with about 20 of the, the staff and I remember thanking them for everything they've ever done for me over the past 20 months that it took for my release. And it was so humbling. And I thought, you know, I have a message for my peers. I have a message for everybody is to be grateful because that's God's will for our lives. God loves when you say thank you. You can begin to give God thanks and you watch him come into that situation just as he did for me.